Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Make sure that you subscribe before you leave and click the little bell. That way you will never miss out on another hair cutting video again. In today's video, I'm going to be cutting my hair. I'm going to be cutting fresh new layers into my hair. It's more of like longer layers, um, basically trimming off the dead, dry ends. So I have a few hair cutting tutorials here on my channel. Um, I have one that's very, very detailed and step by step, which I will leave all of these videos linked down below. I have an entire how to cut your hair playlist. I also show you guys how to cut feathered layers into your hair. I show you guys how to cut face framing layers and all that stuff will be linked down below. But in today's video, it's basically just cutting layers into my hair and freshening up the look. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take a comb or brush or whatever works for you and you want to brush out all the tangles in your hair. Step number two, you want to go in with a straightening iron and straighten your hair. That's because it's going to help you know where you're cutting, what you're cutting, how much you're cutting, and how it looks after you cut it. So it's very important to straighten your hair unless you're cutting your hair wet. I like to part mine down the middle just so both sides are even so that if I want to do a middle part, I can do a middle part. If I want to do a side part, I can do a side part. And everything will just be even and blended out better what you could do is take a comb and for a straighter line just run the comb back after your hair is straight you want to go ahead and part your hair down the middle and then i'm going to take sections from like right about here right about like the middle of the crown of my head and then i'm going to i'll show you guys i'm going to take the section down i'm going to run my finger through and separate the hair while i'm running my finger through if you saw what I did. So these hairs right here that I just separated are going to be my face framing layers. And do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna match it and just separate the hair down to my ears. Okay, so we're only gonna be working on our front section right now, so you might as well go ahead and tie the rest of your hair so it's out of your face. Okay, so in my previous hair cutting videos, I show you guys how to do pie shapes, and that's a little bit more work, but I found an easier way that I've been doing lately, and it works just the same. It's just easier and quicker. So basically what you're going to do um, is take your hair, I'm going to make like scissors with my fingers and I'm going to hold my hair while brushing it out and then I'm going to find my guide. So I hope you guys can see my guide right there. Now this right here is your guide. So basically I want to cut off about an inch of my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and eyeball it and I'm going to cut it in a diagonal way and I'm going to point cut inwards. So when you point cut inwards, what that does is creates like feathered layers. It just makes your layers blend in a little bit better. So right there, I just cut an inch off of my face framing layers. Do you guys see how the layers just kind of fall really nicely? Um, that's because the way we cut it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side so you guys can watch me. Um, you're going to take all your hair and then I'm going to take it up to the middle. This side is a little bit harder just because, I mean, I'm right-handed, but take it slow and you can make it work. Okay, so right there, I see my guide right there. I hope you guys can see it too, but I'm going to go ahead and cut an inch off of that. And I'm going to uh, cut it diagonally, like a diagonal shape so that my layers kind of cascade just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and point cut inwards and I just eyeball this. You guys can eyeball it too. I eyeball it about an inch or an inch and a half and it always just works out. So I like how that came out. I'm just going to let it go down. Okay, so now that we're done with the face framing layers, we're gonna go ahead and take out that scrunchie and let the rest of our hair down. Now. What I do next is I take my finger and run it through that line that I made in the beginning, that part. I will run it through all the way down the back. Filming a hair cutting tutorial is a little bit complicated. So in my previous hair cutting video, I show you guys that I separate my hair like from the crown down the middle and then that's gonna be another section that we're working on. But today I'm kind of going to do it a little bit differently. I'm gonna take all my hair, so this is like a quick way to cut your layers. As you can tell, I'm not about to spend a lot of time cutting my hair right now because it's so long. I just want a quick trim. So what I'm gonna do here is make sure to brush the back so it's even and there's no knots and then brush the front too. 
Kind of like you're making really tight ponytails on both sides of your head. Again, if you guys want lots of layers, you want to lift your hair up. If you guys want medium layers, put it like, you know, in the middle and then not so much layers, you want to keep it a little bit lower. So I, I want, I want some layers. So I'm going to take it up just a bit more than I did when I was cutting my face framing layers. Here is the hard part. I hope that my hair is still in frame. Okay, so basically you're not gonna see my hair right now because it's out of frame because it's so long, but I did take it up because I do want more layers. And so here is my guide already, it's diagonal already. So what I'm gonna do is cut an inch off and I'm going to cut it diagonally. So I'm gonna cut upwards, if you guys could see what I just did, I created like another diagonal line, like a new guide basically. And then what I'm going to do now is just go in and point cut. Just make everything blended nicely. I'm just going to point cut into the hair just a little bit. Don't do too much because you'll just really thin out the ends. So I don't want a blunt cut at the end. So that's why I like to thin it out just a little bit. I just have to stand up like really, really high so you guys can see it. But can you guys see uh, the cascading layers that it did? I'm so sorry, it's right on top of my boob, but I don't know how else to show you guys. Uh, it just made it really, really nice and cascading and blended together. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. You want to take all your hair and bring it up. It's not in frame, guys, but I will show you guys what it looks like. So if you guys can see, the layers have already grown out. So what I'm going to do is just make a diagonal about an inch with my scissors. And then I'm going to point cut inwards. And be careful which side you guys cut the diagonal. So I'm cutting diagonal like this way, going up and this way, because when I let my hair go, the shortest pieces are always on top. Remember that, the shortest pieces are on the top. So when you're cutting diagonally, you just want to keep that in mind. And then I'm going to just let it go. Now let me show you guys really quickly how that came out. So if you guys can see how the layers just fell together really nicely. Okay, so the next step is to bring all your hair to the front. So basically everything did come out even and same on the both sides. And so I really am happy with my haircut. If it's not even and you're not happy with it, what I just like to do is I just like to go in, um, brush my hair down, and then even to just trim the layer so that so that there's no like pieces sticking out, I'll just I'll just brush the hair downwards and then I'll go in and whatever pieces that are sticking out that I don't like or don't want, I'll just go ahead and cut that. And I always cut in a diagonal just so everything is layered. I love layered hair. So basically that's what I did right here. And I'm just gonna let that go. So can you guys see how just very nicely it just cascaded naturally? Basically I will just brush all of my hair down with using my rat tail comb and I'll leave a link to the rat tail comb, the big white tooth comb that I use and the hair straightener and the scissors that I use because I get a ton of questions about that. Okay, so here you guys see I have a lot of pieces that are sticking out so what I'm gonna do is just cut it in diagonal. Now I like to eyeball this when, if you're a beginner, first timer, you might wanna go check out my other video where I show you guys in detail, step by step. But this is kinda like when you're in the hang of it and you just want a quick trim, but you also wanna freshen up your layers. Um, this is really, really nice and it works and I love it because it's quick. And I'm not taking length off, like you guys saw. I cut about an inch off, but I didn't really take length off. Okay, so the next thing I do is I just go to check if everything is even on both sides. I basically just take chunks of hair, I bring it to the front and measure it, and I like to take it from the back too, and I love it. Now, if you guys want to trim your face layers a little bit more, what I like to do is just take the rat tail comb, stick it in there, bring whatever it grabs. Whatever hairs that it grabs, I'll bring it forward, and then I'll just kind of trim a little bit to make my front pieces a little bit shorter and fresher. So it's a little bit shorter, not too much, but just a little bit. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. So basically I'm just gonna take my comb, stick it in there and whatever pieces that it grabs, just because this is like how my hair naturally falls. So I want it to look naturally layered. And then you bring that to the front 
using your fingers like scissor motions. And I'm gonna cut a diagonal and just freshen up my layers, cut about an inch more. Okay, so here is the finished result. I wanted to show you guys the back really quickly. It looks a lot less stringy and it just feels lighter and fresher. Like I really like it. It's basically long layers. Okay, so we're all done. This is basically what the haircut looks like. This is a really good haircut for all of those that want longer layers. Um, I do have short face framing layers. They're not super short, uh, but you could go as short as you want to. And then it just cascades into longer and longer layers. And I actually really, really like the way that it came out because I can part my hair to the side. I can part it down the middle and it just it's even and it looks good and it just looks fresher and I, I'm really really happy with it I wanted to cut my hair really quickly and then I was like let me just film a video for you guys because I haven't done a hair cutting video in so long so I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful and useful if you guys want to see any more hair cutting videos for me if you guys have any ideas leave them in the comment section down below if you guys recreate this then do message me on Instagram so that I can see it I would love to see how you guys haircuts came out if you guys want to see step-by-step -step tutorials and tutorials on how to feather your layers how to cut face framing layers. I have all those tutorials that I will link the playlist down below. And I have a ton more fun videos on my channel for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!